అండ్ టెక్నాలజీని ఉపయోగించుకుని దేశాభివృద్ధిలో యూనివర్సిటీలు ప్రముఖ పాత్ర పోషించాలని నీతి ఆయోగ్ సభ్యుడు వికే సరస్వత్ అన్నారు హైదరాబాద్ కుక్కట్పల్లి జేఎన్టీయు గోల్డెన్ జూబ్లీ ముగింపు ఉత్సవాల్లో ఆయన ముఖ్య అతిథిగా పాల్గొని మాట్లాడారు మారుతున్న కాలంతో పాటు విద్యార్థులు సాంకేతికతను అందిపుచ్చుకుని దేశాభివృద్ధిలో తన వంతు పాత్ర పోషించాలని సూచించారు పంతొమ్మిది వందల డెబ్బై రెండులో చిన్న భవనంలో ప్రారంభమైన జేఎన్టీయు ఈ యాభై ఏళ్ల ప్రస్తావనలో శాఖోపశాఖలుగా విస్తరించి తన ప్రస్తావాన్ని ఘనంగా చాటుకుందన్నారు భవిష్యత్తులో ఉత్పన్నమయ్యే పలు సవాళ్లకు నూతన సాంకేతిక ఆవిష్కరణలు ఉపయోగపడేలా విద్యార్థులు పరిశోధనలు చేపట్టాలని సూచించారు పోక్రాన్ అను పరీక్షలు జరిగిన నేపథ్యంలో దివంగత మాజీ ప్రధాని వాజ్పేయి ప్రస్తావించిన జై జవాన్ జై కిషాన్ జై విజ్ఞాన్ నినాదాని ఈ సందర్భంగా ఆయన గుర్తు చేశారు So if JNU is going to write the next page for the next 50 years so that when we have the 100 years or maybe even when we synchronize the next 25 years with the uh, 100 years of India's independence, we should be able to look at whether we have kept space in educating our children to that level where we would have seen them as entrepreneurs. As, Dr. Uh, as our Honorable Prime Minister says, we, do, we are not looking for job seekers. We are looking for job providers. So what you have to do today is to transform. And for that, I have only a couple of suggestions. While the government of India has come up with the new edu national education policy 2020, and those of you who have gone through the various features of the policy, it emphasizes on two parts. Flexibility, multidisciplinary, get a larger focus on skill development. And a major point which has been brought out is to change the role of the teacher. The teacher cannot be a linear person teaching one-to-one -one students. It has to be student-centric, number one. Number two, it has to be a role which the teacher has to throw as a mentor, as a thought leader. And that is what Dr. Kalam also used to say that the universities have to play a major role in the technology, in the societal development. And the teachers in the universities have to become the thought leader, the leader in technology for providing the kind of mentorship for our generation's needs. I think JNU has to now look at it in that particular format. The next 50 years has to be a place, something similar to what is happening in IIT has a part, where there is a mentorship, there is a tremendous amount of uh, a focus on innovation and research. I would like to say a few words as far as the research is concerned. We understand the history. What are the mistakes we made in the history? Why we are all proud of the Industrial Revolution after the World War? Do you think whatever technology we developed during the Revolution, were they correct? Do they really course correction? I practice chemistry and I know urea was the first chemical made by Oler more than 100 years ago and we are not mastered better than what he made. In this, our our uh, society transforming from what I read in the literature, we used to be a hunter-gatherer society then we became an agriculture society. So when I woke up in 1949, I also found that India was by and large an agriculture society. And I have seen Indian society transforming from agriculture to an industrial society with major inputs done by entrepreneurs like Dr. Mohan Reddy and many others who have been responsible for the industrial growth. Then, of course, we have also seen the growth of information society. We have all seen we have been a part of that. And today we are all part of the knowledge society. This is also seen that this is a major impact has been due to the science and technology. And how the thing has changed, that also if you like to recall, the first policy was done on science, it is to be called science policy. And it was by Professor Puthari department. 
Then came another policy sometime in uh, 18th. I think it was Eshpal or something. It was also called science policy. But when it came in 2000, it came to science and technology policy. And when 2013, the Department of Science and Technology came, it came from science technology to science technology innovation policy. Successful speakers have always come to ultimately that point that today is the era of science, technology, and innovation. So when you talk of science, technology, and innovation, this is one thing which is also evident from the fact what our great leaders have said. Our Lal Gandhi Shastri said, because 1962 war we had gone through, we had gone through 1965 war. Coming from defense circle, we have liked to quote from that. He said, Jai Jawan. That was the time he said. And then he also said, Jai Kisan, because we had extreme food shortages in the peace, and we were responsible for, through the science and technology, the white revolution, sorry, the green revolution, which led to reduction in the food shortages. So he said, Jai Kisan, Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan. In 1998, when we did the nuclear explosion, Shakti Parishan, our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Yadal Bihari Vajpayee, he said, it is Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Vijayan. He realized the value of science and technology for the growth of the society, and he gave major impetus. But we have not stopped here. The political leadership has been continuously urging that don't stop. It is only for the last many centuries we have seen that the science and technology is the one which has revolutionized the society across the globe. India has no exception. What you see after 1947, the growth of India in its entirety in terms of infrastructure in any sector whether it is education, health, research, development, science, technology, pharmaceuticals, everywhere we have excellent nuclear energy, space, defense, it is due to the major contribution by all of you sitting here, who are the generation which were born after independence, maybe just before independence. So it is a contribution of all of you which has brought India to this kind of status that our GDP which when the British have left was less than 2%. Enno Vela Mandi Vijayasini Vijayasini Teach it in the Vada Jeevita Lo Vilkiru Nimkina Twenty Eesandar Bhamlo I feel proud and honored to be part of this celebration. Oka University Kevalam Vijayana Vishichurani Ke Kaapinda Ikan acah tu punya tuan tipe tu bijak tu, orang jiwit talo, orang life skills ada yang isi, samada ni ke upaya ko pada bidang ni orang ni good citizens ka, tipe tu tu, perbincangan lab tu ka, society development lo, guru ka tu lo, welfare lo, orang ni bahagian paman kejalan lo. जेएन की उच्च आला कील का पात्र पोषण चिंदी एंचर पिचा पकड़ता हूँ। आइटे नॉर्मल का यूनिवर्सिटी से अपने लोग मल्टी डिस्ट्रिब्यूटर अप्रोच लो, उन्हें ट्वेंटी संदर्भ लो, आरो जिलों ने 1972 लों ने उनका टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी, साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी, मतलब समाज उन लोग भविष्य से लो कील a pure technology university in the established area, it's a kudos to the founders of this university and I pay my respects to all of them. 1978, not even a compound wall, we used to run a small building. I used to be a sales manager. So I used to drive all the way up to BHDL in Ram Chandra for our goal days. What have you seen the change? Tremendous change. Buildings have come up, labs have come up, compound world has come up, there is lots of greenery around. What more has happened is amazing students have been produced who made a mark on the global community. Number of them, 
I don't want to be with one of them. But it's all because of who? The faculty and various other stakeholders. We have you Mary's here, starting off with your current vice chancellor, uh, Professor Nasim Marid is here. There are several other vice chancellors who are also in the uh, gathering today. And we'd like to acknowledge all of them to say because of their good work in students, what it is today. But equally important is just not the faculty, it's the staff, it's the lab assistant, it's the student, it's the parents, and most importantly, the society made what it is today. So join your hands and congratulate all of them for all the outstanding work that they have done. So I think we're setting up the Botanic Brand Corporation in Telangana to developing the Botanic Technology. This program is expected to be a game changer for the next generation of networks such as 5G, superconductors, and presently Dr. Saraswat is the Chancellor of JNU Delhi and a member of ADR. We welcome you, sir.